There's an old fable that goes something like this. Once upon a time, the king of Persia decided that the inventor of chess should be rewarded. The man who invented chess came before the king. The king said that the man could have any reward he wanted. The man asked that a grain of rice be placed on the first square of the chessboard, then on the second square, two grains of rice, third square, four grains of rice, and on the fourth square, eight grains, each new square doubling the amount on the previous square. The king praised the man for his humbleness, but really, the poor king just did not understand the concept of exponential growth. The king was going to need, I am not even going to try to say that number, grains of rice. Take a look at this graph. It shows how many grains of rice per chessboard square for the first eight squares. Notice how, at the beginning of the graph, the numbers increase slowly, then rapidly speed up. See, the reason the king got stumped was because of these smaller numbers. It's hard to grasp the concept of exponential growth, but essentially there's a breaking point. When this point is reached, you've made it to the second half of the chessboard. The second half of the chessboard is the chaotic realm where numbers spiral out of control. First, look at this. This is ENIAC, one of the first computers ever made. It was made in 1973, only 42 years ago. Now, take a look at this. This is me wearing Google Glass. It has the computing power of about 100,000 ENIACs, and I wear it on my head weighing less than a pound. How can we have gone from ENIAC, which takes an entire room to add 1 plus 1, to Google Glass, which lets me stream videos and play video games through a hologram in 42 years? The only possible answer? We are in the second half of the chessboard. It all narrows down to something called Moore's Law. In 1965, Gordon Moore, the co-founder of Intel, noticed that the number of transistors per square inch on integrated circuits had doubled every year since the integrated circuit was invented. Moore predicted that this trend would continue for the foreseeable future. Look at this graph. Do you think he was right? Because of Moore's Law, electronics are very quickly becoming smaller, more powerful, and more versatile. They're also becoming cheaper, which makes them much more widespread than ever. So what does the future have in store for us? I can't wait to find out. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you should definitely check out The Second Machine Age by Andrew McAfee and Eric Brinjolfs. Okay, Eric, you're going to have to pick a more pronounceable last name. It is a fantastic book about technological progress that was the inspiration for this video. I am Malcolm McSween. See you next time on Think.